remember one day I saw you on West 4th with fucking Big Kev and your girl, mm -hmm. and we tried to talk. <laughs> and it was the most awkward thing, right? It was like, <laughs> hey, man, how you doing? Hey. It's like, go. It, it, I, you had just, I think you was ill at that, at that time. You, you had just had a recovered. Cold. A cold, as they said. You had a bad, had a, you had, had a, a cold from a bad cold. A in for. And I'm like, what's happening, man? Like, I didn't realize that was like something you never talked about. Like, I had to, like, one day come on, and I'm like, hey, man, I heard about the such and such. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Do, do people, do with people know I've been to jail and almost got raped at a rest stop and we don't know <laughs> that you had a fucking coronary, motherfucker? Was, Why not? That's some blockage. <laughs> Put in. Sneaky bastards. <laughs> Who Both of you niggas are sneaky in love. Both of you niggas are sneaky ill. Like, what the fuck is wrong with y'all? <laughs> Fucking three years ago, Patrice has a low kid. I'm just like, what the fuck is you remember these the secret niggas? Who even knows anything on this show? Remember when we went to the fake, uh, the Rich Voss fake? He gives a shit about his friend's uh, steak dinner before he got married thing. <laughs> oh, and it was all about him filming his and it was reality all, and, show and pilot. That's, and that's what it was. And it was Patrice awful. and I sat right next to each other and had steak, and we... You're like, man, you're uncomfortable in your skin when you're not in that studio. It, it, it's, it was so... I didn't even... And I'm and I'm wise enough to know not to... That's why when Dennis Leary called that day, I'm... Ve Dennis Leary really does take care of me. For, you know, he'll just throw shit my way. Mm -hmm. But Pat, it's like he likes you, but he has to like you in context of business. It's just no way to let you go, hey, oh, because Obi will, he'll get this thing where he gets human for like a second, and he will <laughs> feel like, wait a minute, I, I'm feeling like, because he'll get like a, like a, 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 just a drop of conscience where you go, man, this motherfucker gets up, uh, since he's really, you know, he does, Patrice does a good job for us. I'm just letting everybody know, and you're coming yeah, up, yeah. hey, man. And then I close the shutters back down. <laughs> I, I yeah. open the shutters like that. <laughs> and they, they and come then, down. So, and, and insert and another like quarter for a human Cause I, contact. Because I know how, I know, because Anthony doesn't, isn't, you're not the, the guy going, you know, you're not the, you're just doing your show, and then you leave. You put your snorkel coat on, and you're out. Yeah, pretty much but it. But Oval look at you, and then, like, he'll go, hey, man, good job. Hey, listen, uh, Elo loves you. Dude, and I and he thinks I'm going. I don't care, but as soon as you go, I want you so, to care. That's so, all. Hey, I mean, Opie, so uh, see how you got me today. I this mm. is the first time I ever said like, well, look, because he always goes, hey, look, what about the like the Black Phillip? Hey, man, what's going on with the Black Phillip? I don't ever want to go. What's going on with Black Phillip? Right. Because it's just like shut your. Don't you, you ever just ask me what the fuck is going on with Black Phillip? Like I'm just I just sit here and I go, okay, dude. I'm no, we wanna, I like doing radio. We really want to develop that now. <laughs> we think yep. there's something there. We think there's something there with with, with you in this channel. <laughs> I, I'm not sure. I know, but then, but the response to that is, all right. Like I can't go past that. No, honestly though, all right, I'll be. Because at the end of the show, when the Pac-Man no, music come, I'm gonna go. Oh, I gotta tell you. So you gotta go. Hey, man, what? It's I gotta tell show, you. Man, don't talk to Without me. saying a lot of things, Eric Logan has been beyond busy since you started that show. It's not the. It's not the the. The big priority. Yeah, of course that's not. That's the that's the only reason. That, it, but that's why it should have been done by now, to be honest why, with you. But that's why I never say it. It's, it's like I know things like that, so it's like I go, okay, cool. But it, it might be like, oh, he doesn't give a fuck, so I'm not worried about. It. But I'm like, nigga, give me the black Phillip shit. But you don't want to go. You don't yeah. want to. You don't want to extend yourself inside because it's. And you're doing it tomorrow night, by the way, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Eight to ten. Because the black Phillip show is his. Thing when we was talking, it's, it's mm -hmm. Opie's idea, so yeah. it's like, you know, okay, fuck it. So I don't want to go, hey, motherfucker, where's well, we your saw... my idea, nigga? No, we saw the angle. Right. We saw the angle and said, you, we got to do this. Shit, I'm I definitely with that, but like, you know, shit, I'm, <laughs> you motherfucker, it's like you don't know. I don't know what's going on with this shit. Well, why don't you ask uh, the man? Who's this? Hi, Patrice. Who's this? Eric Logan? No, it's the imposter. Elo, what's up, man? First of all, why is it always uncomfortable silence with white guys and business no, white guys? You, no, I got spit it out, you man. Get, you get really Elo. uncomfortable. What is the story? Elo is fake corporate guy. Is he fake corporate guy? He's a, he's a, I thought he's a fucking he's seventeen. No, no. He really no, no, bugs no, me. He's no, the listen. LeBron James of white people. <laughs> he's one of the smartest guys I've ever worked with. Right. And I'm not kissing his ass because he's on the phone, but he's also a fake corporate guy. He plays the part very well. He's a good actor. Right. When he's not, yeah, that, is I. And I'm sporting today in my blue jeans and my green Opie and Anthony t-shirt walking around the building today. It's uh, dress down day today. <clears throat> yeah, it's, yeah, it's casual. Hawaiian casual shirt day. day. Oof. Oof. 
Is there uh, is there room on that shirt for more logos? Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. It's gonna be. It's gonna look like a NASCAR uh, racing Spender. racing outfit. And trust me, Higher. hey, Elo, your name comes to my ears because it's like, Obi will go, hey, man, Elo and the guys in Washington. I, I go, thanks. I, well, all right, like, you know, if I go, thanks. All right, fuck, fuck going through the interpreter, okay? Yeah. Eric Logan, tell, tell him what you tell me. About the show? Just about him in general and how But leave out the right. N-word. No, I, I, <laughs> leave out the fact he said, that nigga. <laughs> leave out the <laughs> Well, I mean, I have some health concerns for you. I want to make sure you have a long, healthy life. But other than that, I think the show's look. The show's great. I mean, I've been talking to Opie about this how long? Um, a couple of days. Oh, geez. come on now! I told you. See the bullshit. I told you. I'm feeling. I'm feeling I it now. I understand that shit. I told you, man. Patrice, I am I, feeling what you're I've saying now. I've been around, and it's like you understand. You don't want it. That's why I don't say nothing when when. Cause Opie thinks I'm I'm being super cool, man, about the shit. But 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 he goes, hey man, Elon and guys in Washington said they love you. And I go, well, pow pow, baby, right back at you. <laughs> Far as I know, I'm walking next to Anthony with a snorkel coat on and going to sleep. I'm feeding my fish, fucking my girl, and uh, not, can't get in touch with Opie when I, hey Opie, uh, text messages, black Philip question mark, <laughs> nigga, please <laughs> don't punk <bug> me. <laughs> Get no I, reply. I can only work on one thing at a time, Patrice. That's, That's what I was trying to explain. It's fine, dude. I don't get. Look, man. You, uh, you, you know that you're, you're. First of all, you're lying. You do care. That's yeah. why. We're all right. Exactly. That's, 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 that's right. I don't care. I, mean, I, I don't care. care. You're fired. But I mean, I don't care. Not in a fuck you way, but. It, like any, I like just like doing the shit. I don't ever, I don't fucking, I, don't, I just like coming well, in. So let me ask you. Let's 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 talk about it right now. So how many nights a week, or days a week, or how much time would you be willing to commit to something that you don't care about? What? See, don't put me in a funny spot, nigga. He's. <laughs> well, no. Hey, listen. You called me out of a meeting. I, I was in a meeting working on a thing. Who called you out of a meeting? You right? did, Patrice. What? You told me to call Eric Logan. Fuck you, nigga. No, I did. No, no, fuck, I did. This could be the worst job interview I've ever heard. I didn't call you out of a meeting. What? I'll interview you right now. Let's do the deal. This is the worst job. This is a how not to get a job. <laughs> Do not call the boss a nigger. <laughs> Do not say, yo, motherfucker. <laughs> I'm just sitting on the radio. I was asleep two seconds ago. And then Wait a minute. Interview. I don't Hold know on. how long I want to do this shit. If you're Holy interviewing shit. with the boss, then you shouldn't admit that you actually sleep on the job. <laughs> Oh my this God! The God's oh honest truth, by the way. We got pictures. I fell, His pee. Oh. I fell asleep on the floor. I woke up and I lost my. Thank God you're a comedian. Thank I, God I, I could not I, see I, work I, for I, anybody I, but yourself. <laughs> All right, Elon. What? Oh, is that funny? So, Patrice, I won't check your references. I mean, are there any references we could check then? Yeah, Black Phillip. <laughs> the All right, two shows. That's, that's the only thing. The resume it was, on, it was audition. That's the only radio. It was audition. really good. People loved it. All the right. shows on All this right. and whatever. Now, typically, when we do like radio show negotiations, I kind of like to know how much time you have to commit to a project. Mm -hmm. I was thinking. I'm thinking one day, three hours of goddamn. Uh, <laughs> okay. Three hours what? of one week. <laughs> okay. The, the, we're making progress now. We're moving forward. Yes. What day do you like? I'm looking at Tuesdays. You like Tuesdays? I'm looking at Wednesdays. I'm looking at Sat Sunday. I'm looking at... <laughs> Nigga, what am I looking at, Obi? <laughs> <laughs> Monday. <laughs> Negotiate it. Talk to my lawyer, Obi. <laughs> Monday. Mondays. Monday nights. Monday nights. What, it should Monday be on, night. Hold on. Right? The type of program he does should be on uh, the weekend or Sunday night, but the problem is, you know, he will do his touring and stuff, so that's See, a little I rough. I know, but it's, yeah, it actually, the type of program that he did on the weekends for us, which was fantastic, should actually be done like on Thursday night because oh. it's directions about how to survive the weekend with your women and what you should do. Wow, see? Genius move. That's why he's got that gig. Thursday sounds he's good to me. He just trumped He me. just earned his suit right there. Thursdays, Thursday sound good to me. Thursday so night. You like Thursday night? Uh, Thursday sounds excellent.
All right. Now, how do you feel about the show being live or taped? Live. No, it has to be live. Yeah, it has to be live. Taking the calls. Live. We can, we can <clears throat> tape the calls. Nah, it's no, it has to be live. There's a live feeling to it's it. That live feel. You kind of know when you're on tape. You don't want to do a taped thing. Yeah. So it's... you want to do? So we have a Thursday night mm. live show call in. Yes. Now you like three hours? Do that? You want to have like a half hour prep before and do two hours on the air? Do you want to do three hours on the air? I think I, I've done two hours pretty kind of. It, they went by pretty fast. I think I can go three hours. You want to go three hours? Yeah. Uh-oh, Bob, uh oh, Bob. Bob Eatman's on uh, the phone. He wants to uh, <laughs> take over negotiations for Patrice O'Neill. <laughs> no shit. Uh, expect that call. <laughs> Jesus, Bob. Stop spreading yourself so thin. Boy, I'm working fast here. <laughs> yeah, you're working fast, all right. Look at him move. I mean, this should take like 18 months <laughs> to get this one drawn up. <laughs> This is so fucking by funny. Patrice O'Neill. What did you mean by the word O'Neill? <laughs> Let's get the lawyers involved. Which goes to show you why a lot of motherfuckers go bridge burning. I have meetings just like this. Like, yeah. says, nigga, what are you talking about? Did he just call me nigger? <laughs> okay, I think um the meeting's over. Cause I want to go. I want to go look. Cause you like it, this, you learn these things. Like you go, man. Aaron's cool. I don't want to negotiate with this motherfucker like a nego It's like, look, you like me? I'm, I I want to do the shit. Be fair. Just don't me You're a little boy. He'll, he'll, a little boy? You're a little boy. But don't get... Listen, you Mr. Gotta... Mr. Goddamn Refrigerator Repairman yesterday. <laughs> was you fuck you. you. <laughs> Try to make me out the picture. I always <laughs> go back to bed, for Tracy. Well. <laughs> <laughs> you assholes. Man. What's wrong with you? All right, let's go. Let's go. It's back to Eric Logan. We're, Elo, we're, yes, we're yes. Thursdays, here. three hours What's on Thursdays, Eric. Three hours on Thursdays, right? Three hours on Thursdays, yes. Black so relationship now, show. Now, 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 you get, now, here's the things you got to think about. you got to think about the time, because remember, if you do it at 7 o'clock hmm. on the East Coast, it's really 4 o'clock on the West Coast. So is that too early for the West Coast? Oh, I see. Hmm. But that's bef that's drive time, though, right? Yeah, well, then you're going to have a conversation with Opie and Anthony about them coming off drive time, which I'll let you work out with Opie. Oh. Yeah, I don't like that idea. <laughs> <laughs> so can it go 9 to 12 on a Thursday, or that's too late? 9 to 12 is, is, six, is 6 to 9 on the West Coast. Mm. That feels kind of right to me. 9 to 12 is... So we want to check with Opie and Anthony to see how they feel about and that. And then if i got to go somewhere right. Friday, I can go. I don't care. Ain't I home by then? Mm. Yeah, but nobody on the West Coast is home. You gotta give, you're giving up. No, I'm talking me life. personally. <laughs> I can give a shit. <laughs> you gotta, Once I'm home. Yeah, Elo, you got to understand. <laughs> this is really has nothing to do with it. <laughs> <laughs> I listen. If I, like, if I call Anthony and go, man, what do you what do you really think, Anthony? Give me some advice. Nigga, are you calling me at home? I, Let me turn off the radio show and, and talk to you about I, it during the radio. Yeah, <laughs> let me do that. So, so that's what I'm saying. So it's like... It, this thing was always going through uh, through Opie, so now it's like, okay, you have to make a decision on Thursday, <clears throat> Thursday 9 to 12, which sounds good to me. East Coast people stay up that late to, you know, do what they do. Anyway, mm -hmm. East Coast is late people. Right. So 6 to 9 for West Coast is a good time for them because they sleep. Mm -hmm. They do. They, they don't hang out till fucking 1 in the morning. People in New York hang out till 1 in the morning. Can uh -huh. hang on, talk shit. So, sounds okay. good to me. And then so Friday, so you don't have comedy gigs <clears throat> on Thursday. Think? So Thursday nights, you can commit nine to midnight for how many weeks out of the year? Is this a fifty-week deal we're doing here? We're doing yeah. This uh, is every week. This is every, fifty-two and weeks a year. No, wow. fifty-two weeks. No definitely. I could do no, yeah. I could do fifty-two weeks, and at the same time, you're helping me out because I don't like to do Thursdays when I do gigs. But I wouldn't have to if I had my own radio show. I can just mm -hmm. go look. I'm only going to do Friday and Saturday. And I can pump my own show on my show and then do that. Patrice. Oh, and that changes the economics. Hold, hold on, Elo, Elo, hold, hold on, <clears throat> hold on. You just negotiated yourself out of vacation time. Oh, did I? You just no, I was just I was no 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 no, no, no Elo I Elo. Asking, I was going to ask him what he was going to do on Thanksgiving. Yeah, what are you going to do on Thanksgiving? Holidays and vacation. I mean, <clears throat> you just negotiate. I'll be here. I'll be here every week. Is that how it go? <laughs> <clears throat> My client, Patrice, will be taking four weeks off a year. Four weeks a year and uh, paid uh, uh, holidays when they fall on that Thursday. That's right. And he wants his birthday off. So Thanksgiving, you're good every year. It's Thursday, right? And, right. You're, and you're allowed. But he's commit. But see, the problem he's already committed 52 weeks to me, which means I get 52 shows. So some weeks he's going to have to double up to make up for the difference. Opie, Opie, and Anthony will be the sole syndicators of the program, also. 
So if somebody else wants to pick up his show, he gets to syndicate through uh, the Opie and Anthony uh, radio network. Great. So it's another thing. Which we will take 50% of the proceeds. I know how silly. This is, and you got to understand, <laughs> fellas, this is this negotiation right here. This yeah. is the reason I'm, I, I have an a army of Jews. <laughs> <laughs> the now, Jew this is why army. I do not do my own negotiation. Okay, yeah. There'll be a lot of stuff on in the meetings with, with some Jews as this goes down. Where Eric said, Eric will go, well, he said this. I'll go, oh, I, I don't remember that. <laughs> shit. I don't remember that. <laughs> I was playing. <laughs> oh, Patrice will open the door. Hava, Nagila, Hava. They all come in. I come in with a what, yarmulke. <laughs> what did this stupid Schwarza say? Oi, vey. You're giving away the store. I'm down. I'm down, though, Eric. I'm down, man. This is a, this is a great opportunity for you. I'm down. I'm down. This is a terrific opportunity. All right, 52, 52 weeks in. here. Right, we got it. Okay. Hmm. And what about your production staff? I mean, so you're going to cover those expenses for the production staff? Well, I want to. <clears throat> I actually wanted to snatch these guys. They're good for me. The, uh, okay, the, the so, guys, so guys. We'll, so our fee. So we'll just pay you a fee, then you'll pay them their fee. And oh. my co. And my co-host, right? And uh, you'll pay your co-host, right? So we'll, our fee that we pay you, you'll just pay for them. You got to so pay your part. staff. So you're, you're going to you're out gonna of your cut. Your show. No, I don't want to. I didn't say that. You just said that. But I want to pay you my just staff. You agreed to paying your staff no, out of I, your cut. No, I didn't. You just said. Elo. No, no, no. I Where's the money it. coming from for his staff? As I said, and he agreed. Uh, I will pay you. You'll pay your staff. Well, I, That's what well, you just I said. I pay you. I'll negotiate an amount then, right? Well, now you got to negotiate more money because you now you got to yeah. pay your staff. Yeah, I want to pay my staff. Good and thing my you didn't do the money first yeah, and then have him right, come across as that. Right, but yeah. I want to go back to this thing about him saying he's going to use three hours on the XM platform to plug his other shows because see now that is barter and trade. So I need. To but that's not. Uh oh, five hundred million dollar <clears throat> lawsuit coming up. Is really is that how is that how it's done? I don't know. Look at this motherfucker's gonna out negotiate me. I'm gonna be laying on the ground like I'm gonna be laying on the ground like Jason Part Nine when they. When he's boiled down to his little boy phase when he comes out the water. I, I can't fucking, all this shit is law shit. I'm just going, man, be fair, nigga. But it ain't like that. So oh, I, gotta, I gotta put my Jews on speed now. You have to. Get, this is get your fair. Jews. <clears throat> I'm trying my best, but this is. Get your Jews, is, because you know uh, something? Uh, yeah, there ain't no noose or a tree. But don't think it ain't going on. As long as I'm hey, feeling it. And Elo, I like you, but when I when I put the Jews on it, this is is nothing personal, right? It won't be the first time I've seen him. Okay, no. good enough. That, yeah. <clears throat> that's fair. I'm down. So on a personal yeah, level, you, you need some help because this is like Muhammad Ali, <laughs> oh. and Chuck Webner. Aren't you watching this? Just going, oh, what's he doing? Like I'm seeing him making mistakes. But but Anthony, can you for five seconds <laughs> no, remember? <laughs> That you fixed the coil in 1996? It's a vague memory. And that you, you was, that Opie was doing that to you and they going, you stupid fucking... It's nay on the right. It's nay on the something, man. Yeah. And uh, you know what You live fuck? and learn. Yeah, you do. You're, you're learning stuff. He's like, so I'm, if I open my big... I'm sitting there going, oh, yay. I, so I can... You're doing mm -hmm. me a favor by cutting out... I'll you tell know, you one thing like, I never did, <clears throat> ever. What? Was negotiate a deal live on the radio <laughs> without representation. <laughs> That's, that was your first mistake. <laughs> Because I'm sure there is a lovely digital copy in all its pureness of this discussion. All, it, all this yeah. is really is a, you have a, no a idea digital, a right digital verbal handshake. There you go. You have no idea what you just agreed to. You're obligated now. <laughs> what, a digital verbal one? He's going to sue you for damages. There's, 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 there's things called oral contracts. Yeah. We've right. The one That's, yeah. I'm looking. I'm in distress. <laughs> I got diabetes. My head ain't clear. Right. Very good. And you haven't you haven't pooped. I haven't went to the bathroom. Oxy, oxy, oxy powder. Oxy powder. Oxy powder. Oxy's all, right. <laughs> oxy all dripping in my colon. I don't know <laughs> shit, Eric. Hey, uh, Patrice. Yeah. I think we should be friends. Ooh. Oh, okay. I hope he's reaching out. <laughs> okay. I'm reaching out. Okay, till tomorrow. <laughs> no, I think we're going to be friends. Let's go see a movie or something. Have you seen Scary Movie 4 yet? I want to see I, that. I saw it the other day. I got cut out of it. I was Did supposed you? to be in it. Oh, no way. <laughs> yeah, I got cut out of it. Oh, shit. I got cut right out of it, right which wasn't a out. super bad thing. How do you get cut out? Aren't Is the movie bad? Like... I, it's maybe the third, money. the third or fourth. I don't want to disrespect because the people like me, but it, it, yeah. it could be. Could have been that. <clears throat> Patrice, one, Patrice one, what yeah. if we did this? What if I represented you and I negotiated with XM? Oh, boy. Yeah, that's a great idea. That's something you never want to hear. Why? Aren't you XM? 
<laughs> well, I can rec- I can remove yeah. myself from this he, equation. He, he, oh. so, you know, so listen, I I already I already got by the way, some, hold I already on. have a few hold of on, the chosen on, people on. in place. Hold on, Eric Logan uh, is obviously joking there. But it reminds Bruce me Mittman. of Bruce Mittman in Boston. <laughs> we were uh, we were starting to get some popularity, and Ant and I were looking at each other like we're making no money. Ant was living in a uh, at a chicken farm. <laughs> I was living in an apartment building with Brazilians that owned chickens. <laughs> chicken farm. <laughs> Where the kids were like using the was you a cockfighting referee I'm too. In a chicken farm. The kids would, would use the potholes as a, as a pool. Right. This is how yeah. poor the place was that he lived. Yeah. In. When it rained, the little Brazilian kids would come out in the big potholes in the uh, parking lot and play like it was a pool. This is when you was on the radio in Boston. Yeah, in, in Boston. With your with your wife. Yeah. And, and yeah. Patrice, remember? Uh, well, remember? I don't know why I would say that, but uh, in some of these apartment complexes, you got shared space. Mm-hmm. These people would take it upon themselves to take the shared space and make it their space so they could raise. Chickens. You get patios. You know the patio with the wrought iron little fence around it in the back of an apartment building oh, you got to put your little God. hibachi on? Well, these guys would go over the patio and fence it off with chicken wire to the and wo- all load the way chickens to the in. And load chickens in. And you'd hear... And, and, and they... They'd have chicken barbecue. Anyway. They'd just cut the chicken up right there. So we were in no shape financially whatsoever, and we're doing great for, uh, you know, Boston uh, AF and Boston Radio in general. We're blowing up. And uh, so we start uh, we start hinting that we, we maybe need an agent because it was negotiation time. Yeah. You know, and the Chinese restaurant mm-hmm. thing that yeah. we talked about earlier. Yeah. Yep. And Bruce Mittman, <clears throat> who was the general manager of WAF, he ran the whole show for that radio station, actually said to us that we don't need an agent. He'll negotiate the deal yeah. for us. And we're like, but we're negotiating against you. Right. But it's you. Right. You're the guy. So as Eric Logan says, <laughs> well, who joke, knows right. me better than me? As, yeah, right. As he says, I'll that cut as, myself with my deal. I will outwit myself. This actually happened to us. I'm like, but but you're the guy. We're trying to get more money from. I'm, I am and dumb, but I ain't stupid. Look how yeah. it ended. It worked out well for us. Guys, I was trying to screw you over, but I picked up on it. <laughs> <laughs> I just realized that I am a hardcore bastard. I'm hard. This is going to go on for quite a while, yeah, boy. Uh, so Bruce, uh, when is this deal going to be signed? You know, uh, I'm not, I'm not done arguing with myself. I'm not done arguing. Uh, uh, we're stuck on something I believe could be a deal breaker, boy. Uh, and I'm not budging on it, but I, got, I think I could get me to budge. And I gotta admit, this negotiation is getting personal. I just told myself that I was a midget, and I wasn't happy that I actually told myself I'm, a, I'm a midget. So I'm fighting back. <laughs> Fucking Brucey, man. He fucking um, actually thought that would fly. I how do you not love that guy? Guys. How do you not love a guy with a set of balls like Brucey Holy Mittman? Holy shit. <laughs> I got really blindsided with, with yeah. big big business. Big big guy just, in a suit on the phone. I just saw the Enron tapes and thought I knew about business. <laughs> I just, Patrice. <laughs> so I'm fucking yeah. And then you go, hey, man, we get the syndication. I'm sitting there going, I really do feel like oh. I should have been oiled down and a motherfucker oh, should have yeah. been selling me. Patrice. Forget about it. <laughs> I'm going to step out of my role on the show. Uh-huh. Oh, there he goes. He actually stepped. Okay. I okay. do believe that you're very talented. And it's just time to make you a part of this fine uh, channel. All right. And I think uh, you having a show every week would be terrific for everybody involved. Yes. And also with uh, Jimmy blowing up in Hollywood and he's going to have to, like, you know, film a second season of Lucky Louie. You know, we want to m- make you happy as you sit there. Yeah. Fair enough. Mm-hmm. So it's up to Eric Logan to do the right thing. Yeah. Make the deal. Somehow. So I guess I'm not the. So am I to understand I'm not the agent now? It, it sounds like I'm not the agent. No, you're. You cannot Something just be went the horribly agent. wrong. Yeah, you can't. That's ridiculous. Yeah, you cannot. <laughs> I, I just stepped. I just stepped. I just stepped step, step back into my role on the show. I saw you took the step. There'll be some motherfucking old school Moses Jews from Jerusalem coming to life. You right need today. some some representation. Oh, yeah, that's good. Or else you're gonna look like you're in a bathroom with a lacrosse. That's, 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 that's exact. That's exactly. I just. I just. Yeah. Do things like that, like, I, like I told you, the the, the Spike Lee situation. It's just mm-hmm. like, what? Why would you call? It's like if if you, see what just happened just now. Yeah. If I said, okay, talk to talk to my people, and and Eric was like, hey, look, man, come on, we talk, Patrice. I know no, you. Can't. Come on, let's just talk. It's like, don't you? Let's talk about life. Let's talk but about just, art, but yeah. do Look, not we, talk business no, we, with me. You and I right. can just work this out together. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, see, when you hear that, yeah, run. Right. <laughs> Here's what you do. You do, give a little self-deprecation. You go, you go like, 
Hey, Eric, you know, I would love to discuss this, but I'm just not savvy enough, right. and I've been instructed that maybe somebody else should handle these affairs for no, me did, did to you protect say, oh, myself. Did you, did you say you pretend get, to say that? Yeah. Oh, Patrice, or you can give me the line that Anthony gives me, which is like, I'm only one half of the equation. Let That's me what I say. I've actually used, I am but a small cog. Yeah, <laughs> that was the one I got I, the other night. I, you, last night, I think I gave yeah. Elo that one. Yeah. I am but a small cog in this machine, Elo. You have made, the, you have made uh, what's the name for that, that sign? Ampersand. The ant. The, ampersand. You made the ampersand worth millions <laughs> <laughs> with that move right there. That ampersand yeah. is worth. It's like, way, look, man. Oh, I, yeah. hey, don't you know it's Opie and Anthony? By the I'm way, sorry, I can't talk. By to the you. way, I got to tell you this also. I only passed that off to Opie because I knew he was asleep and had his phone off. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> By the way, I'm back in my role on the show. Oh. Right. I don't have time to see a movie anytime soon. <laughs> <laughs> I. Do you know what we have going on? Are you insane? That's Do you actually saying. think I could see a movie with what, you anytime? You got a time to take a piss. Do you think that I get set up by Opie's in and out of of humanity? <laughs> He's the only one that has called me out on it. Oh, I will right. never everyone get it. Else, everyone no. else, like Bob Kelly, will sit here and go. But, but he was but, my friend. But what happened? I, like he can't figure it out. Like he said. Like, but 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 when the mics aren't on, he he actually. But what? <laughs> You're the it, only one that will I call will me out on it. Opie goes, hey, dude, let me tell you something. I see you have, let me tell you something, XM203 is in your future. That will be called the O'Neill Network. I go, yeah, man, skilly bow. He goes, what's the matter with this guy? He just looks, I know, tomorrow, it's like, I, it's, I know, it's, oh, I just wait. That's what, every time Opie goes, but Elo, I'm telling you, dude, when he go, he says that, I go, okay. I, today, I said, today, I said, so should I, should I, I mean, is he going to call? Or should I talk? And he turned it into this. He turned yeah. it into bad Negro negotiations. <laughs> there are black lawyers and black, this NAACP oh. is going, this dumb nigga, I'm going to get a call from they Barack are on their Obama. Way. <laughs> the saying, NAACP, the fuck is wrong with you? They got like a call with a siren on it right now, blazing down to this location. Negotiate with white nigga, men. Nigga, shut the and, fuck up. And, and saying how I'm going to go get my Jews to help me. <laughs> I really am the Terrell Owens of Thurman. Mike's. <laughs> excuse me, excuse me, but there's a positive phone call oh, coming shit. in for me. Timmy in Boston. Hey, what's up, guys? Hey, hey man. Uh, I wanted just to say that Opie, who used to not be the funniest guy on the show mm -hmm. over the last week or whatever, has been very, very fucking funny. Tell my and boss, tell my boss he's on with you right Bravo. now. Well, that's why I wanted to call in because. With the whole Bruce Mittman thing, when you were saying I'm gonna negotiate with myself, and I, you know, all that stuff, it was very. Fu <laughs> you got out of him what you needed. <laughs> that was a very Thank fun you, thing to do, though, it. man. Yeah. So, Patrice, Patrice, yes, sir. Yeah, we got to wrap up because they're saying we got to take a break, a really long yeah, break or so. Patrice, so I, Patrice, know, so I, I just want to recap the deal as it currently stands because it's very important in negotiation, so you always know where we stand, right? Go ahead. All right, you've agreed to a show uh, on Thursday nights from 9 p.m. That is a definite night. agreement. Okay. Okay. Very no, no, there's, no, there's, no, there's no definite. We've already agreed this. We have tape of you saying yes to yeah, all it's, it's, it's just, like a contract. But also, please, you don't even have to reiterate. Let me, let me say right, that. I'm just restating what you've already agreed. Please don't let me go to the doctor and say that I suffer from dementia. <laughs> <laughs> so go ahead. You will. Patrice is fighting back. You're, you're, doing 50, you're doing 52 shows. <laughs> 52, <laughs> 52 <laughs> shows over the a year though is what he's saying. But that's uh, Thanksgiving you were. No, no, no. But I'm saying. Dude, wait till you're 30 shows in. You're gonna be like, what the fuck? I'm out of shit. So, you know so that you, you know that we you, invent illnesses you, you, to get you, time off from this program. <laughs> you've you've agreed to pay out of your pocket all production expenses associated with the show. Oh, you shouldn't have given that one up, Patrice. I didn't agree to that. You have to, re you. You have to renegotiate that. You I didn't agree to pay, Patrice. I agreed that that the guys would get paid. Yeah, but you not yeah, only agreed you? to it, you agreed to it twice. I heard it twice you agreed really? to it. All right, go you ahead. Back that shit up. Go ahead. The all, worst that all, can happen is you fall apart. You know, <laughs> when you brought up the fact that you want to plug your show on Friday night, I clearly articulated that that is, we as XM has to be compensated. They have to be compensated. So, so either you will do the show for free or you will pay us the fair market value for such mentions included no. in that show. You know, Elo, free is ridiculous. I agree. And also, I, I need an accounting of what uh, spots are going for. 
on Absolutely. this show, and we will work out a dollar figure for that and put that against what uh, Patrice will be earning. Let me ask you two. Let me ask you uh, two. Anthony, Anthony, thank you very yes. much. Okay, now, what about times we, where I'm not I'm not performing on the weekend? Uh huh. Well, then you don't mention it, and then you don't have to reimburse us for right. that. And then, and so if I don't mention it, I don't. And have we to... still expect you to be here when Jimmy's not here, sitting in that seat for free. How about, <laughs> about that? <laughs> How about that? Oxy's and coming then, out my ass. <laughs> How about <laughs> that? And then, as, he's as walking customary. on the wait. He's just walked out on the negotiation. I'm going to call a Jew right now, nigga. He's How going. About that? Negotiation is over. I'm going to shit. He's going to the Jew phone. He's out. Well, also, and the one last. He thing just left. Before we hang up, well, you got to remember that X, it's customary that we have control of your image and marketing rights that we can use, and you can't use them without the express written permission of XM. That's very standard with all of our deals, too. There you go. You'll be hearing from somebody with the last name of Vitz. Or Stein. Or Stein. Well, enough about Patrice. So it's it's about us today. Uh, what's going on in Washington <laughs> as far as, you know, the thing? Oh, oh, you got me with that one. Let's do it! The Opian Anthony Show. For, for the love of humanity, <laughs> what did the guy do wrong? He took a goddamn job. It seemed like a good idea. To and the guy didn't do who? well <laughs> to him. And, and like, oh my god, what is going oh, on here? No, it is. My, wow, you know, Danny, it looks right on you. <laughs> Oh, Why are you doing your Charlie Chaplin impression today? <laughs> oh, is that Charlie Chaplin? <laughs> Why? Who, well, who do I think it is? Who says it has to be the big guy? I, I'm saying it's a Charlie Chaplin. I, I they uh, it was mustache day. What you call today. The, the big guy? <laughs> the big guy. The big guy. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, the big guy. You got a, you got a nickname. We didn't even wish him a uh, happy birthday yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just getting looks of dismay. He's talking about Phil, who emailed. It was a whole yeah. thing, and we forgot to mention mm -hmm. this. Well, that is really something. You, well, it, you actually, know, it actually <laughs> looks good. That's too bad. He fucking Danny fucked up kinda, that mustache. We it's almost, that it works with Danny in a weird way. It almost it, it looks cool. We it's almost like a Clark that. Gable look. He, he it fucked it up you. for everybody. He fucked that up because that about really about, kind of yeah, fits him in Patrice. a weird way. People grow, uh, there's a lot of people that grow facial hair because they're trying to make their face a little better. What if that's the only thing that makes your face better? And that guy, like, took, <laughs> that guy took that move, that move out of the game. Like you have a weird, uh, a weird mole <laughs> or a funny cleft. Right. And the, all you just want is enough to just, just cover enough up, up a, to cover, but up not the corners of your mouth. Well, it, it has been mustache day. Uh, uh, unfortunately, we couldn't uh, play along, Ovi, because of the press and everything. Uh, uh, we don't want to sit in front of them with wacky mustaches. <laughs> so, uh, speaking of the press, uh, mm. right after the show, right outside the studio, it's going to be unbelievable. Oh, really? Got a mic on the street and everything. Let's check in to see what's going on with the press All outside right. the studio. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds, uh, wow. How are wow. we going to deal with that? I don't know. Going to need Poe to <laughs> escort us through the crowd. Yeah. Uh, mustache day. He looks sexy. He looks like a silent film villain. Right. Yeah, yeah, like silent film. It, it, it worked. I don't know how a Hitler mustache works for you, Danny, but it really does. Well, I guess that's a compliment in some way. It you, could you be. You should keep it, and you should, it's a little, it's a little, <laughs> you should but keep he, it. He should, he should, like, just shape it up a little, make it look, you know, 2006 shaped up. How do you futurize you know? the Hitler mustache? And I gotta tell you, Travis didn't want to. Uh, he did not want to. You didn't want to commit. You're a little too far. He didn't want to commit to the style. Yeah, you could have gone closer commit. to the nostrils. No, it's supposed to be pretty much nostril equal nostril. with the e edges of your nostrils. What a yeah. Surprise, Travis. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I, I don't know. Jim yeah, not committing to it. You are really just wishy washy. <laughs> So we, we couldn't give up on it, because after we knew the bit was kind of dead, we had already been growing out our, <laughs> our awful beards for like a week and a half, so we figured we'd just run with it. Yeah. No, we'll throw it up on the website, and we'll uh, we'll join Mustache Day ourselves in the, Any, in the very uh, near future. I like it, huh? It's really kind of it doesn't bother alarming how, how it fits you. You know why? Because it's, it's kind of suave, but it, it see, it, the, the big guy's mustache the, was hey, you kinda, Wait square. a minute. You kind of yeah. tapered. You gave the edges almost a... Uh, a wing, like a, yes. a delta wing kind of 
Both Paper. guys were scared to that completely could be, commit. That could be the way to update that look and bring That's that mustache what I'm back. Is to, You're right, Patrice. Is to, is to triangle it up a Give little bit. Give it an bit. angle. It's a trapezoid. Yes. yes. You gave uh, it more of a trapezoid than a rectangle. Hitler's was completely rectangular. Like square, like a rectangle yeah. on his face. Yours is going down in the mustache way. If you trimmed it up, it, it would it would be like I said, a Clark Cable kind of thing. Yeah. I mean, I wasn't shooting for that. I really did try we'll to make this as offensive as possible. We'll test it at the synagogue. Ooh. On our first day. No, I guess we won't. <laughs> That I have the the spacely sprocket. <laughs> that's it. That's it. Well, I don't think that'll be on the old Photoshop to later on today. All right, we should. Uh... Yeah, of course. Yeah. What? What? What are you doing? Well, Travis said, "Let's go shave," and I, I concurred. All right, go shave. <laughs> there you go, the guys. I don't know. <laughs> Uh, Let's go to the phone and say hi to Bruce in Arkansas. Bruce, what's up today? Well, yeah, today I learned that uh, Anthony Arafat was a refrigerator repairman yesterday, <laughs> and Sean Arafat. Hannity doesn't understand the Mustache Day. There Aren't you go. Out? Hey, yeah, we did learn that. Uh, ben, uh, no, ben Stein is uh, asking Patrice a question. Uh, whatever. Uh, ben Stein. Uh, well, there's Ben Stein, and then there's Ben's raw ass, who just said Ben Stein. So, Ben's raw ass, why don't we start with you? Go ahead. All right. Today I learned that Anthony's hair is commonly referred to as mattress stuffing. <laughs> uh, commonly or once today. Once today. Commonly, yes. refer hey. commonly referred to hey, once say, ever. He didn't, he didn't say he was a good student. <laughs> no. That's what he learned. This business is the worst. Thanks. But that's what he learned. Patrice always calls it mattress stuffing hair. No, I didn't. I just said that particular look, picture on look, the phone. The first time he heard mattress stuffing hair was 1965. <laughs> as a child <laughs> growing up. In... He, that's what he learned. I never though. heard mattress stuffing hair. But when he, I've heard a lot of other things. Believe me. When we give him the pop quiz, he's going to get an F. But that's what he thought he learned. Commonly. Now, that's one of the news things that they use. I know. This one is commonly known as, yeah, because he said it tonight. You're a liar. Ben Stein, what's up? Good morning. Are you, uh, Patrice O'Neill, are you trying to Jew Elo down? Wow, is that a bad Ben Stein impression? That's, oh, is he? Yeah, he's trying oh, to okay. do it. Right. Let's go to uh, David from Virginia Beach. David. Yeah, I wanted to play uh, what I learned today. Yeah. Uh, I learned that uh, after Thanksgiving, I'm going to be able to listen to Patrice. <laughs> out, boys. Yes, Patrice will be working while I'll be eating. <laughs> That's how it should be. Yeah. <laughs> sorry. Well, fellas, I, just I, to... I even got to apologize for that one. I just want to. I just want to say. I'm sorry. I just want to do my last. Hey, how you guys doing? Everything all right? Because when this music stops, <laughs> people are out of here just like Pac-Man. <laughs> you know what this show is like? During the show. It's like you ate the blue, the, all the ghosts of blue, yeah, and we're chasing yeah, the ghost. Right. Afterwards, after the fucking music, Run for went it. back to Pac-Man, getting out of the escape hatches on the side. Eating the dots down 57th eating Street. The... All eye contact stops. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, well, that was fun. Uh, yeah. We start talking in our real voices and everything. Well, that was fun. <laughs> Fuck you, inky dinky and whatever the fuck. Hey, hey, man, I really love your Schwarzenegger impression. Really, motherfucker? Well, yeah. <laughs> see you next month when I do That's it again. That's great. Where's the fucking elevator? <laughs> well, I got to stand and talk to this guy. Let's go to Ben. Another Ben. Ben, what did you learn on the show today? It's Ben Day. Hey, what's up? What's man? up, man? I that four Jews beat, uh, beat the full house. <laughs> yes. There you go. You did, and Howie cards. Uh, Terrence. Uh, yeah, this is Terrence. I learned today that uh, Patrice knows how to bend over in front of Eric Logan and take it up the ass. Well, All you right. know what? I can't even lie about that. Jared in Boston. Hey, I learned that you can be racist, but don't be mean. <laughs> <On to know. laughs> Let's go to Steve in New York. Steve? Yeah, today I learned that Howard just don't care. Yeah, we're, we're going to see how much he doesn't care in the coming weeks. Thank you, Steve. <laughs> Wow, you actually went off the script. 
with oh, us, yeah. Steve, I'm taking sorry. that call. I, I, I was feeling brave. Yeah. I said, what the hell? Hey, uh, Patrice O'Neill, thanks uh, very much. Yeah, no problem. Tomorrow right. night on this fine channel, uh, 8 to 10. Black Phillip, yes, sir. Check it's it a, out. Love advice. It's a great show if you haven't checked it out yet. It really is. And uh, oh, we'll see all you questions Monday. answered Monday.